Okay, so three, two, one, go. Hello, fairs, and welcome back once again to the council. And we're moving on to episode three, Ripples. And a lot has happened since last time, and yes, I still remember what happened. I'm still a little pet peeved about that goddamn maze puzzle. And yes, I did change that so I wouldn't get that huge penalty of bullshit because they technically hit it, hit the answer from me. So yeah, I, I'm just, you know what, I'm just going to jump right back into the council and let's see how long until the stupid comes in. Well, so far it's been pretty much sane and last time our hero has found our way into a hidden chamber in the maze garden and we're about to get pounced by someone who followed us so let's figure out who that person was in episode three and let's see what happens from here and we get to see sir colon Kona, uh, Ka uh, Sir Colin's ugly face again. God, that face is still uncanny valley. And yes, people, I'm still a little pissed about the maze, okay? I know my myths. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even do. But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. Oh, we're back to books again. So, yeah, I got to pick three manuscripts, and I want to save this one for a later talent. Do I need... Uh... uh Jim Keys. Finding an opportunity. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get Book Lover by the end of this. So I need occultism and irritation. Okay, let's see what we got. 
I can get Thought of Arts, that will increase my radiation. Questioning. Pretty much good on questioning. Too bad I don't have occultism. Good. I could spend this, but I would permanently lose my chance to get the other pages. But get a bonus. But no, I gotta save that for last if I have to. Uh, maybe one for good psychiatry. Not pretty much okay. Diversion. Diversion. Oh, God. Need to start leveling up. Diversion. Science. Uh, it's not going to be much, but hey, it's a start. So let's get caught up on what Louis's been doing since then. And you're not giving me full point. Uh, full, full, okay, that could be trouble. The Council, Episode 3, Ripples. George, is about to start any minute. This is not the time to be. Damn it! What's going on? Uh, I I don't know exactly, Mr. President. I was looking for my mother, and I I came upon this body. My Give God! Me a you don't think Sarah did it, do you? Hmm. Well, we're not 100 percent sure. She might had to, but. Could have done it, but I, well, I'm not sure. So I think no, so. I, I don't think so. Why would she have attacked a servant? If no one saw you, I'd advise you not to get involved, Louis, so that no one will accuse you of the murder. That's good advice. Ah, oh, darn. The conference is starting. Time is of the essence. Sort this out and join us as quickly as you can in the conference room. Everyone will be expecting you. Mr. President, this is not really the right time, and I, I didn't come for that. Your mother's seat cannot remain vacant. You must replace her while she's still missing. Your mother and I were to support Mortimer on this project. I don't know what the subject is, but the future of our countries depends on it. Given the importance of all this to Mortimer, he won't let the conference begin without you. So if you don't want more servants coming looking for you, I'd advise you to join us quickly and to put a brave face on it. The best favor you can do for yourself, Louis, and for Sarah, is to come and support Mortimer's project at the conference. I'll be there as soon as I can. Don't worry. You can count on me, Mr. President. I shall help you with Mortimer's project as soon as I've finished up here. Good, Louis. Sarah would be proud oh, of you. God. I'll stall them while you're on your way, but make haste. I'm going. Don't be long. Tell them that I'm on my way. Yeah. That's pretty much the best idea right now. Look for clues about Sarah DeBridge presence or go to the conference. I think we should investigate here just for a bit. See what happened. Oh, he's dead. What the hell's been going on here? He might have something good. Key with a cold air symbol. Oh, God. Um. Gonna have to make it for you. Somebody smashed it in the back of his head with something. He slowly bled to death. That isn't what killed him. They broke his neck. 
Hmm. Damn. Let's see what secrets hidden under these masks. His face doesn't ring a bell. I'm a bit disappointed. I might okay. have expected more from Lord Mortimer. Guess Mother, uh, nothing really much. This is your doing. The situation is getting worse and worse. Yeah, I want to save that honey for that council meeting. For all we know, we could be dealing with a lot of strange stuff. When the gate is locked. And we can't go down further down this way for now. Lots of stuff. An old blanket. From the looks of it, it couldn't have kept her very warm. Someone's made a fire here, and the ashes are still warm. If you're the one who did it, Mother, it couldn't have been easy with only one hand. I must have just missed her. If only I hadn't wasted so much time getting out of Lord Mortimer's study. Ah, oh God, I should have just... Yeah, we must have must... just missed her. I wasn't uh, listening in to the Pope and the German guy I can't remember on top of Left my head. food. Huh, not exactly fresh. Must have been here for a while. But book. The Oregon. Oh. Oh, we just found the second page of the missing parts books. That's good to know. I guess we pretty much done here. So, uh, where is the council meeting gonna be taking place? I think we should head ourselves on the way there. And fuck, and still, fuck this godforsaken maze. It's a goddamn mess of a nightmare. Where are we supposed to go? To go to this council meeting. Screw you, Mortimer, for hiding the goddamn statue that I needed. Still, God, still angry about that. Mildly tame at this point, but still, that was still bullshit on the game's account, not mine. I didn't see the King Minos statue. Do not treat me like an idiot. I must have... Oh, God, so... Where the frick is the goddamn council meeting supposed to take place? Did nobody... Oh, God dang it, I'm gonna be lost here for a while, I can just tell. I don't know if I'm going the right way or the wrong way. Oh, good help. Mr. Dorichet, you are expected at the conference. Please take the door to your left to join the guests. Thank you. Thank you. This door. Thank you. Well, at least these servants can be really helpful. Get around the place. Uh, let's see if we can get through this conference with no trouble at all. I have suspected. Cisterce from Roman Gaul. Coins. A box. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of water. Wait, do I have to yes, because she asked him at last. And he could not help answering her, but she said he seemed quite angry at being spoken to. Do I have both keys? 
Oh, yes, I do. I do have the key to the power of water. Well, Shelly. I have suspected it for some time, but now I am How many raw jellies? Oh, two raw jellies, cow lime water. Are you quite sure? And an amber fragment. Nice. That'll be helpful. The Chinese coin. Recognizable by the hole in the middle. If I remember rightly, no, that's called a cash. So we could talk to Lord Devil's Thorn. Mortimer right now, but there's someone I want to talk to first. Get I don't know if you ever found what you were looking for in the garden, but Mortimer is waiting for you. I suggest you get a move on. You say it as if you were afraid of him. So, what's going on between, um, is it really wise to talk to Peru at this point? Uh, what's going on, oh, yeah, I got that, um, got that honey. Uh, yeah, this is going to be helpful. And some water, that should be helpful. And let's say what he's, what's going on between them two. I sense that you have things you'd like to say, but... Something's holding you back. Oh, what is going on between you two? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. The siren's song, Monsieur de Richet. You wake up one morning, not knowing where you are, and you think about everything you've done for a man who wasn't even worth it. For a man who has no respect for you, who uses you, and who drops you as soon as he no longer needs you. For me, it's too late now. But you, you still have a choice. Don't respond to his call, sir. What are you talking about? Uh, he's probably having an off day. My son, glad you're here. It seems Lord Mortimer's been waiting for you to arrive before beginning. What a pity your mother isn't here for the conference. I hope I'll be able to see her before I leave. I still have a very important letter to give to her. Oh, yeah. Are you all right, Louis? You look like you're miles away. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Lord Mortimer wants to talk to you, Louis. Don't make him wait. I believe he did. Look, I just wanted to talk to everybody before we get this meeting started. And the German. Good evening, gentlemen. Are we ready? The much awaited conference is about to begin? That is what we have all been waiting for. I believe that Lord Mortimer wishes to speak to you before it begins. Yeah. You should go and see him. All right, all right. I'll go and talk to him. Oh, what's this? Elixir around one of the chairs. Calamine water. Just wanna check if you're... Don't mind me, just looking for good... Some good, healthy... Honey and... I know there's one amber piece in in Mortimer's office, and I can get that after this, and I know the solution to that box puzzle. Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly, but what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found. And my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. Uh, no what is problem. at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry. You are not alone, Louis. Very well. Yeah, with my allies. Uh, how does a conference work? In concrete terms, how do you organize your discussions? A conference is always organized the same way. There are two masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. 
Okay. You and Sir Gregory, I presume. Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests yeah, in order to debate the subject. Mortimer. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. Okay. By a unanimous vote. If the project is not agreed on by all, then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. In other words, us. Gregory and myself are merely the go-betweens. Finally, if the project is validated, each guest goes home and starts working to make it happen. It can take years. Oh, okay. And if you're curious, I'm sorry for pausing, but if you're curious about a sound, I just turned on my fan, so it's just, it's really hot where I am right now, so... So I'm just letting you guys know, so let's continue. So, what is this conference Can you about? give me a brief explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis, I was coming to that. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. But the future of who? Of the world, Louis. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. Okay. Do you, Do you often hold this kind of society dinner? In general, once a year, but in actual fact it tends to be events that dictate our gatherings. Uh, have you been operating for long? How long have you been active? Oh, this tradition has more or less always existed, Louis. It has continued from generation to generation. What major decisions have you already orchestrated? Can you give me an example of an event that was decided here before being implemented in the outside world? Well, take the French Revolution. It was decided right here two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the French Revolution, I wasn't invited, but as far as the American Revolution is concerned, Louis, I can testify that we planned it five years before implementing it, for example. Uh, I got no more questions. Louis, let me keep you a moment. All right. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin, what? because I'm going to need your assistance. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. And it's currently it's... Spanish territory, oh. and I'm going to make the proposition to the assembly for it to become French. What? Uh, what's that got to do but with me? How does that concern me? Well, you see, I prepared this project with your mother. We began thinking about a crazy idea. Unfortunately, Sarah went missing before getting the bigger picture. I don't intend to stop at Louisiana. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. What? The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. Wow. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand, Two democracies illuminating the world. How far does his project but go? Why spread it over two phases? Why not announce the overall project immediately? Unfortunately, if Spain were to hear that the intention of all this is to allow the United States to grow, they would never sign. Manuel Godoy is perfectly aware of President Washington's appetite. If the United States took Louisiana, Godoy would know full well that he will have lost the entire North American continent. Things must take place in several stages. Otherwise, the change will be too brutal, and he will have no choice but to reject the project. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope 
I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat. Follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Okay. Let's get this started. My friends, I propose we get started. And, uh, yeah, Mortimer has kind of a secret lab or something in his office. Of, like, First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. Evil. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, here we are all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur. I hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The Order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The Order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about the King of Divine Blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. Thank you all. I am honored to be among you today. I will strive to represent the interests of the Order as best I can. Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other, more now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer. But I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France, namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer... I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you, William? You speak of union, and yet here you are about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I'm not mistaken, in the northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious... Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Oh, God. Controversy. It was back then, but let's just keep quiet about it. Duke Manuel, I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protégé. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? Hold on. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's got immunity, so... Uh, it would protect you from the Americans. If I were you, Senor Godoy, 
I would think twice before stirring up a scandal. I beg your pardon? Given the size of your colonies, you won't be able to keep them for long. A number of countries are eyeing them as we speak. The United States would have no trouble taking them. For all intents and purposes, you have no army in place. By wanting to keep everything, you risk losing it all, especially your colonies in South America, which are far more valuable to you. That is indeed the danger, Duke Manuel. If it comes to war over Louisiana, you will lose. And probably a good deal more than you now imagine. Young man, you are indeed a dark horse, aren't you? I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. Am I imagining things, or does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? Well, France does not need to seek the popes. If France took the papal states, their opinion over the sale of Louisiana would be definitely resolved. Good Lord. You are talking of an invasion of Italy. Don't take it the wrong way, Your Eminence. Colonization brings with it many benefits. You'll see. Very funny, Monsieur de Richet. Mi auguro che insegnerete l'educazione a questo giovanotto presuntuoso, Sir Gregory. I hope that you will teach this pretentious young man some manners, Sir Gregory. It no. looks like I won't be just making friends here. In Probably any case, enemies. my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sicher einen Emily. Nie preußen wird diese feiern Barren akzeptieren. Mark complex language. I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volner looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are great times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. Home, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure watching it happen. How dare Gentlemen, you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project... Follow me. Are you coming with us, Monsieur de Richer? Come, Gregory. I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? Well, let's keep an eye on Mortimer. Hey, getting closer to my enemy. As for me, I think I shall remain with Lord Mortimer, Sir Gregory. You are committing a grave error, Louis. 
Time will tell. And besides, we, we're just going to keep an eye on, um, on Mortimer, because somehow I'm doubting there's something fishy going on here. My friends, I would like to thank you for staying. Good God, William. What is this I hear about you reinforcing military power in Louisiana? I have no interest in having France for a neighbor, and you know that very well. Calm down, George. Louis, explain our plan to Mr. Washington, please. You see, Mr. President, Lord Mortimer anticipates that once France obtains Louisiana, they will cede it to you. What do you mean? To us? The United States? You heard right. But I... President Washington, the United States will double in size. By what miracle have you... You need to expand, George. You and France are the two major democracies in the modern world. It is necessary that you both become superpowers. Are you really going to sponsor democracy throughout the world? Of course, Monsieur Peru. That's why I don't want Spain to get too attached to those weapons. Uh, please continue, Louis. Explain my vision to Mr. President. Of Mr. Course. President, Lord Mortimer intends for you to conquer all the North American continent. He's relying on you to not stop at Louisiana, but to continue to push west. Indeed, it would be dishonest to pretend that this is not my final objective. But why didn't you tell me before? so that Lord Mortimer would appear to be isolated without support. Exactly. You got it, Louis. Lord Mortimer retains the advantage by advancing undercover. And for it to work, he needed you to act surprised. William, you haven't changed. Always one step ahead. One step ahead? You're joking. More like five. On that note, my friends, it's getting late. Mr. President? Continue to take offense over my project when we resume the conference in the morning. You do it to a T. And if Sir Gregory has the audacity to send you an emissary to convince you to go against me, do me a favor. String him along if you can. The more they believe we are divided, the more we'll have our hands free. Only too happy to oblige. Now, let us get some rest. We've got a big day tomorrow. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Yeah, everybody has a good night. Louis, if you have a minute, I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm going to require your services. How can I be of help? Tell me all about it. Our adversaries are many, and the closing vote of the conference will soon be upon us. Time is of an essence, so I'll need you to assist me this evening. How can I help? I need you to go this very evening to persuade Signor Godoy to join us. He is the backbone of Gregory's resistance. Turn him round, and all the others will follow in such a stampede that Gregory will be able to do nothing but admit defeat. Lord Mortimer, with all due respect, don't you think I'm the last person Godoy wants to talk to? I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. Keith, I did something. Lord Mortimer, you're not telling me everything. Let's say... I wouldn't disapprove if the right honorable, though nonetheless choleric, Duke Manuel put you in his bad books. If it could motivate him to declare war on France, it would greatly serve our interests. War? What do you mean? I told you before the conference. The more we distract Spain from the Americas, the less it will have an eye on Louisiana. But all the same, we're talking about a war in Europe. Don't worry. That's why Mr. Bonaparte is with us. 
I am convinced we'll be perfectly capable of managing the conflict. And Signor Godoy is not a great soldier. He will not commit Spain to a long war that he won't be capable of managing. I'll go straight away. Thank you, my boy. And get some rest afterwards. Big day tomorrow. Aren't you afraid our projects for Italy may be discovered before we... Oh, uh, please excuse us, Louis, but I need to speak with Lord Mortimer in private. No, no. What do you want, Louis? When are we supposed to vote? The conference resumes tomorrow morning. That leaves little time for the little favor I spoke to you about. Indeed. I'll go straight away. I shall be leaving you. Where's that? Yeah, there it is. Hmm, which four letter word could open this chest? Do you suck in helium? So the answer is. Zeus. And we get an amber fragment out. Oh, it's a uh, logic. Never mind. It's oh, Lord Murmurs. And written notes by Mortimer. Oh, this is his. Never mind. So we just need two more for that one. So, let's head to Manuel Guti. Maybe we should stop by his uh, room and see if we can learn something about Guti. Oh, what the hell? Well, what the hell? Hey, Peru's name tag's fallen off, and his door's ajar. Let's check it out then. Maybe we can learn something about Peru as well. And maybe he might have some good stuff. For me to steal. Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another 20 beds will soon be ready. The children, and myself, will never thank you enough. Long live the Republic. Long live France. Sister marie Allen. All right. I've retrieved everything. Devil's Thorn. Not really that much about him. More creepy art. And a box that could be opened, but no. I'm not giving to give you that. Some letters. My dear little Eleanor, I want to share with you my calmer thoughts at the moment. Needless to say how much I miss you, how much I regret having to be separated from you. But I know that you'll f be virtuous, courageous, and safe with your sister, Mesh. Marie has said, 
I will never be able to mend my mistakes, but I do know now how to save you from their consequences once and for all. Be always assured of my fatherly devotion and affection. Never doubt it, come what may. You must know that everything will turn out for the best now. I am determined to protect you whatever the price I have to pay, and so be confident and sincere in times of, of ordeal. With all my love, your ever proud father. So he's a father, so that's good to know. And I can't get into that book. Another page. And I'm just some creepy art. I think I already came here. I Golden elixir. Hmm. Well, it's always good. Later. That's always good to have. Why would someone want to break into Haru's room? Oddly enough. I guess there's nothing good here for me. Oh! Hey, man. Leave me, Derise. I don't feel like talking. Your door was ajar, and well, given the state of your room, I, I was worried. It's none of your business. Very well. I'll leave you then. See you tomorrow, monsieur. I asked you to leave me alone. Son. Now this is not Bonaparte's room. My dear Napoleon. There seems to be nothing in here of importance. Although he seems alright at the moment, so this is Napoleon's room. God dang it. Uh, this is gonna take me a while, I just can tell. Alright, this is Napoleon's room. We already went ransacked the place. One room that I have not been able to go to yet. Wonder if the game will let me do it now. 
Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Can go into Hillsborough's room. Oh! Duke Manuel Godoy. Ah! Monsieur de Richet. Uh, you wouldn't have seen Duke Manuel by any chance, would you? I was going to ask you the same question. Yeah! I wanted to speak to him, but no one will open the door. I'm not sure he's in there. If I want to pass through, I'll have to get Volner out of the way. Uh. Alright. Make him search somewhere else. I've searched all over the manor, but I can't find him. One thing's for sure, Monsieur de Richet. He's neither in his room nor on this floor. I've just looked all over. I propose we both look for him. The first to find him tells the Duke that the other is also looking for him. Agreed? Perfect. Let's do that. I shall have a look in the library. If you find the Duke before me, tell him I want to speak to him. Yes. Let's proceed as you say. Thank you, Monsieur de Richet. Finally, we can finally enter. Right. Now be a good boy and go look somewhere else. Finally, we can go into Manuel Godoy's room. It's been bugging me for two episodes now what secrets he's hiding. But there could be good stuff in here. And I think I pretty much went into everyone's room except for Sir Sir Colin, I think his name was. I mean, we've been through every room of this house except for Sir Gregory's room. I'm just a little curious what goes on in Sir Gregory's room. I mean, we haven't even seen Gregory's room yet. Piano? With an air symbol. Manuel Godoy. A painting of himself in his room. Now that's uh. not going to help him develop a sense of modesty. Mary Louise of Parma. <laughs> How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my Lord Duke. Hey, it looks like someone slipped something in the back here. It's a letter. Let's see what it says. It reeks of perfume, and it's written in Spanish. Godoy, you really are a little devil. Let's translate the letter. So, let's see what it says. My tender pepera, I feel so guilty at being so far away from you. Again. Even if it's for a good, even even if it's for the good of the country, of my country, I feel awful of having to leave you after a silly little spat, because you are the only woman I love, Josephina, forever. I told you before, everything I have, everything I can afford, offer you, I owe you to the affection of the queen. Let's stay united, please even in sacrifice for the two of us for our future children. Stop being jealous. You are the only one who fills my thoughts. Everything else is just a game, I swear. It seems that the Queen isn't the only one enjoying the Lord Duke's favors. Hmm. If the Queen found out, it would cost him dearly. I'll keep it with me. You never know. Oh, we could totally blackmail him. Lord Duke, here is some information obtained by our intelligence service. I can confirm that Mr. Hay is intended to working on an agreement with Great Britain. The aim seems to be weakening French economy and secretly that of the Spanish by seizing merchandise at sea. Our treasures are already suffering from the embargo on French food products. Such a treaty would mean ruin of our colonies. I have no doubt that you will be able to sweepily find a diplomatic solution. Awaiting further instructions. Now yeah, the guy has a huge ego. Ooh, more honey. Don't mind if I do. And a book. Don 
Kiyote. Talking without thinking is like shooting without taking aim. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that one. And now we're in his bedroom. Brutus and his companions taking an oath to kill Caesar. Charles IV of Spain. Now there's no chance of Godoy forgetting who he owes everything to. We got some devil thorns, so I can take advantage of that. Yeah, I'll need the only room that we haven't had a good look at is Sir Gregory's room. He's still an unknown factor, and we don't know anything about him. I think this is Satan summoning his legions. This is rather surprising for the decoration of a cardinal's room. My dear Giuseppe, poor health forbids me. Oh, this is the Pope's room. I'll call them elixirs that I can steal. The lying girl by Boucher. Here's a painting of Sister Honey, Ooh, I couldn't nice. have hoped Thank for you. better. I'll take this and steal that water. I hope he doesn't mind. And I think I already been through here. There are no interest on books, and I crave more books. Sorry about that. Alright. I think we should go and see Sir Gregory. So he's not on the second floor. So, map. I want to see the first floor. That's the library. The great conference chamber. We... Garden, Warnermer's office, our room, Spanish, Gordy's room, Peggy's, Washington, Adams, 
von Wolfmere Tower Peru Bonaparte Hillsboro The Full Court the Entrance the Dining Hall the Portrait Gallery Service Staircase the Gardens Crypt entrance. We haven't gone into this part of the room yet, but I can expect we're going to eventually. Enter more deeper into the crypt. So yeah, let's go and find Gort and blackmail him into our side. But maybe we don't need to blackmail him. No, he's probably not going to be in the library, so I guess we should check the dining hall first. through this section of the mansion? Ah, there you are, Godoy. So you were just playing the piano? Speak Manuel? Well, well. Monsieur de Richet, I was not expecting you. I am not in the mood, sir, I warn you. What do you want from me, sir? Uh, ask why he was angry when he arrived. I see you're still feeling under pressure. Since your arrival, I've noticed that you've been on the defensive. Huh. It seems to me that Monsieur Perru has a knack for getting your back up. That is the least you can say. Indeed. I was warned. I knew what to expect. For God's sake, why in the hell did your people execute their king? Have the French gone stark, raving mad? There are nothing but monarchies in power in Europe. They will all come crashing down on you. We shall see. It might well turn out to be the opposite. <laughs> you certainly do not lack for audacity, young man. Just tell me one thing, monsieur. Why did you side with Mortimer? He is alone. Isolated. The United States can do nothing to help you, and France is surrounded by over ten countries just waiting for the word to pounce. Really. I do not see why you choose Mortimer. Of his occultism. The Golden Order, my friend. The Order is everywhere. We come from France. We are President of the United States, England, and many other countries. We have ambitions and the means to carry them out. You'll see, once all hell breaks out and your English support starts to fade away. The Order is an international organization. It matters little what governments do. Otherwise, why would Mortimer have gone to the trouble of inviting my mother? Hmm. Ah. If you are right, Sir Gregory has got it all wrong. Tell me, do you really believe Spain has any interest in ceding Louisiana to France? Uh, what he gains from doing it? Duke Manuel, for Spain, I don't know. But for you, I'm convinced that Lord Mortimer will thank you generously. Ah. Uh. You would not be trying to bribe me, would you? Nothing could be further from my mind. It would be an insult to believe that someone such as yourself might have a practical attitude towards its virtue. Even so, it is only natural that you be supported and encouraged if you were to follow Lord Mortimer, isn't it? Indeed, for services rendered, it would be natural for me to receive compensation for the time spent achieving such an undertaking, yes? Naturally. And, given your status, my lord duke, the compensation would have to be considerable. Naturally. Tell me one last thing. What would I gain from all this? I 
could blackmail you. Duke Manuel, you have everything to gain. I cannot see what, actually. Well, if the Queen found out where your heart really lies, she might well become very unhappy. What do you mean? It's not inconceivable that a letter written by your own hand might have come into my possession, in which you declare such love to Pepita that even I became moved. You've been in my room! And I'm afraid that if by some misfortune this letter ended up in the hands of the Queen, she also would be moved. You thieving! Come now, my Lord Duke. We're all gentlemen here. I'm convinced it's not going to happen. Or will it? That is blackmail, you bastard! You have no idea of the consequences! Lord Mordrum knows how to look after his friends. Don't you worry about Sir Gregory. You're protected. Have no fear. Come on. We'll <laughs> give it up. You're trapped like a rat. I uh, got you there, I man. I astounded. Oh, a trait. During the conference. One pointing to politics. And for doing for five. Plus two skills to questioning. I did not think you capable, but you have succeeded. I will be more wary of you the next time. Well, uh, am I a Nonetheless, speaker? if you can guarantee Lord Mortimer's support, then yes, you can count on my vote when the time comes. However, I expect you to be discreet with regard to my former partners, without which our agreement will become null and void. Of course, my Lord Duke. You can count on me. Lord Mortimer will be delighted to hear the news. I hope you know what you are getting into, Louis. I bid you good luck. Good night, my Lord Duke. See you tomorrow. Well, that's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Please, leave me, sir. From now on, no one must see us together. I just want to let you know about... Maybe I should swing by to the library to let him... To let if, uh... Uh... Maybe I would let, um... No idea anything about the other guy as well, so let's. Oh, we can't go in there, so we can't let him know. I would like to come in. I am sorry, sir, but that is not possible for the moment. Uh, who's I'm inside? looking for someone. Tell me at least who's in there, so I don't needlessly go looking around for hours. Uh, Duchess Hillsborough is speaking with Sir Gregory, sir. The other guests have gone back to their rooms through the other side. Why do you ask? Sir Gregory's orders, sir. Can you tell me where I can find Duke Manuel, please? Alas, I do not know, sir. I can only assure you he is not in the small salon. Oh, that's the small salon. Never mind. Very well. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Oh, where's the library? That's the small salon. Great conference chamber. The service stairs. The book. The library. I was going the long way. Long, wrong way. I'll just quickly head to the library. And just to let... Our other person who's looking for... I can't believe I got away with blackmail. Am 
I need. Heading to the library. And I think we've pretty much been everywhere in this mansion thus far. Unless there's more to this mansion than I thought. There is only like one room that I do not know. And that's Sir, Sir Gregory's room. We haven't had a look into him yet. And I'm just basically only having Devil Thorns left. To help me get through the night. And I only have one left, so I'm gonna save it for later. Oh, he's not here. Never mind. Now oh, that was a waste. Alright, let's head back. sure if we have gone into Sir Wolf's room yet, but I can't remember. It's been a while. Check this room just in case that I haven't had a good look around. Maybe I must have missed something. More art. We have been in here. Oh, just another one. The Great Work of the Soul by S. Madone. Pure alchemy is a thought. An art that is performed on the matter of the soul. Great alchemists work to transform and perfect the latter by a series of processes known as the great work. There are four phases to attain the ultimate in spiritual fulfillment. The soul must be transformed in order to attain sublimation by the recombination of the alchemist. It's tempting. The human soul must descend, be corrupt, in order to become decomposed. It's something like what I felt when I think of what I found out about my mother. The soul broken up must be purified by the alchemist. Nice program. Thus ends the great work. The incarnation of the purified spirit, the elevation of the soul, now become perfect. Its resurrection, thanks to the action of the alchemist. Except if the alchemist has bad intentions, then it's called manipulation. Very metaphorical as occult theories go. The human spirit being the prima materia of the alchemist. A oh. chest locked with a four letter code, surely a word close to the owner's heart. I got six. If I'm not mistaken, Paracelsus named the element called zinc. S. So, zinc. So, S. I. Ang. Zinc. 
Transdimensionalopsiridium. Ah, oh, some occultism. Mysterious note. we haven't gone through his entire... Dear Jonathan, I am so glad that you are coming. I did not doubt for a single minute that you would accept this invitation. Despite the risks involved and the fact that we know each other well, though we have gone over many obstacles together, I cannot hide my appreciation this time around, given how highly high stakes are today. But I am having you, but having you here, Jonathan, isn't it invaluable asset. Keep up the effort and I'll be more proud and satisfied. I'll look forward to seeing you again, Gregory H. Oh, what's this? Oh, definitely. about it. It's mine. Ah. More amber for me and more points. Oh yeah, I remember. Oh god. What the freaking hell? Am I stuck on the bed? Oh my god. the next day we can get a good night's sleep and hopefully I get full honey and etc etc
to my room. I guess our business with. Oh, wait, where? Which way is my room again? It's on the other side, oh, okay. So let's start heading back. So we did Mortimer's favor by blackmailing Godoy into joining our my side, so that's that taken care of, so I at which room is Hillsboro Oh, I'm almost there, just then Ignore this room and the following room should be mine. Now we're just simply going to bed. And oh. Good evening, Monsieur Le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? Uh, not That's at all. not what I said. Ah, by the way, you surprised me during the conference. Why is that? Well, you are going to lose. Why stay with Lord Mortimer? I believe he has every chance of winning. My, you are a rash one. However, if ever you want to change sides, please feel free to let me know. But tell me, you didn't come here to try and make me change my mind, did you? That's the last thing on my mind. Although you would have everything to gain by it. Points. There's no point more trying more. to persuade me. Don't hold it against me. Of course not, silly. Louis, if you trust me, you ought to ask yourself why I have chosen home. You do trust me, don't you? I do Of course, you. Emily. Admit, though, that it does make you think. There's still time, you know. Join us before it's too late. Unfortunately, my word is my bond. I don't want to leave Lord Mortimer in the lurch. Very well, as you wish. It's up to you to decide. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? Well, I should imagine you're still shaken. I promise to shed light on my mother's circumstances as soon as possible. There's not much to shed light on. What your mother did is inexcusable. She won sure. the trust of my sister in order to more easily betray her. She didn't do anything to her. I... Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. You sly man. Come, Louis. And they probably banged. They probably banged. Oh god, not again, not another vision. My friends, oh. do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. Oh, we're possessing Godoy. He looks like he can be trusted. 
and uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Oh, why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing. To keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please, excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now! Okay. Does Sir Gregory know about our possession? And this is happening at the same time. As we already learned in episode 2, that all these weird visions that we've been seeing are occurring exactly at the same time it's happening. So I guess uh, Gregory knows about it? Question mark? Yeah, there's clearly something going on with Sir Gregory. I don't think we should trust him. E Emily? Emily? Are you there? Sir. The conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Come on, Louis. The game is back on. All right, back to the council room. My friends, the conference is about to begin. Please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final votes will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache, and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you. I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice, and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it. Even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Luke Manuel? Well, you see, uh, it is more complicated than it... it uh... Good boy. Come, Gregory. Don't try to impress my guests, please. They are not your guests. Gregory. Anyone under my roof is, by definition, my guest. You included. I would be very grateful if you would let These two my guests don't really speak. like each other. Duke Manuel, you were saying you still had some doubts? Well, you see, the situation has changed since last night. Yeah, you... What's going on here, my Lord Duke? You see, I gave it some thought during the night. New arguments have come to light. What do you mean, Duke Manuel? Sir Gregory, I regret to inform you that Spain will not support you in this operation. I vote for. Moreover, in response to arguments brought to my attention, I declare war on France. What? 
What is he doing? Why do you think France is afraid of you? You are dreaming. Over ten nations rise against you, young man. And you behave like a yapping little dog. When the French armies are at your door, my Lord Duke, you will change your tune. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, what is your position? Four, of course. Well, that leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look what? at yourselves. What? You are what? pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My lord, do this. Madame, Peru, what are you doing? You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, come in. Let's end the charade. It's over. Jacques. My lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But what it didn't are you come doing? for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jacques, we'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. No, I no, no man. I shall no longer work for you. Is he crazy? Wait. No, don't shoot finished. yourself, man. You just can't help it, can you? Stop trying to play the hero, man. He doesn't deserve Monsieur, that. I know I don't really know you, but you seem like a decent person. I have done so many horrible things. You blame yourself, I can see that. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. You can take control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jack. You'll have all the time you need. Um, oh, his daughter. Look, you've done as much as you can. You have nothing to fear. Your daughter is safe. Shut up! No! God damn it. Bullshit that you needed more. Damn it. Ah, oh, god damn it. He's dead. That was bullshit. He's permanently dead. Great, great. That sucks. Eh, four points. God dang it. I could have saved him. It's just because I didn't have enough points. To even help him. God damn, I didn't I didn't want this to happen. If I had more honey then I would have oh god dang it. I I feel bad. There was nothing I can do. Well, I could do it again. I don't like how that happened. Uh, it was right at the end. God damn. Gotta do this all over again. God damn it. Uh, I'll continue with uh, on face to face uh, the next time around. You know what? I'm gonna split this. Uh, I really wanted to make sure that Peru was okay. So. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do that again, and this time Peru would be safe, but... God, I didn't want him to die! So yeah, now I gotta do this bullshit all over again. Oh god, I gotta do everything all over again. Oh god. Oh, frick. Frick, frick, frick. Oh, never mind. Gotta do the whole thing all over again. God damn it! <sighs> so, I'll probably see you in the next episode. So, until then, yeah, this is bad. So, until then, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Oh, God. I didn't want this to happen, okay?